Right, welcome to today's session. It's part two of from last week's live lesson. And you were working through the booklet, if you recall, in the classroom. Uh, it's now week four and five. So there was intro quiz, there's a worksheet uh, that you're working through. I'll show you that in a second. There's video, and I've added the exit quiz now, which you can do at the end of today's session. So if you click on the worksheet, it opens up this worksheet and he worked task one based on the brute force attack. Remember Ben's video last week talking about brute force. Basically just trying out password after password after password and eventually you're going to get the correct password. But it could take millions of years to do so. So then we have, so computer programs are developed by unscrupulous individuals to guess the passwords using place names, um, people's names, all the words in a dictionary combined with the number of digits and so on. And eventually they might just get your password, all right? Um, and there's a big market on the uh, dark web in uh, usernames and passwords to um, secure websites, whether they be banks, um, the, uh, the Bank or Building Society or financial institution, or something like a Netflix account. Um, Netflix accounts, details, username, uh, an email address and a password are sold um, to people and then it's used. And it's very hard to trace actually and it's, it's sometimes very hard to detect because you don't know someone else is using your account. Anyhow, we saw that last week and so week two there's further video work and this is from 16 minutes and 24 seconds in Ben's video. So you're talking about brute force attack, it now changes the Computer Misuse Act. So let's look at the Computer Misuse Act. So Ben talks through the Computer Misuse Act and what it's all about. At points through here then, there are, there's a task two, which he talk, asks you to look at the Computer Misuse Act, which is in the booklet. And then later on, there's a task three. Oh, there's a, there's a task three. I'm just gonna take you to that. Oh, it's a little bit further on. I think we are task three. Uh, the Computer Misuse Act fact sheet and so on. So let's show the way that is in the booklet. So watch the video and you get the answers there. There's a fact sheet in your workbook, tells you about part one, part two and part three of the Computer Misuse Act. This is supposed to be law and legislation to stop people hacking into your computer systems. Yeah, there are a number of questions when he asks you to do it, task two and also task three. When you complete those, you'll be aware of the Computer Misuse Act. So what I've also got I've added some in the stream here where it announces the meeting. I've added two other links. That's a GCSE, um, sorry, the BBC Bite Size, Key Stage 3 information on the law and ethics, ethical use of computer systems and Data Protection Act, and this, the new Data Protection Act and your rights. So that will appear on your screen. Um, at about uh, 20 past 11, just before the lesson is to start. So work through that. I'm contactable by email, so if you need to contact anything, um, then do so and turn that in then after doing the exit quiz at the end of the session.